I had driven thousands of miles without sleep when suddenly I found myself surrounded by blue-green grasslands a myriad seed heads swayed gently in supplication to the winds to spread the seeds of their buried wisdom beyond the nascent horizons. I paused to listen to my heart fade beneath the crescendo of the chorus of cicadas and succumbed to the unfolding torrents of inflorescence rising from the valley of burial mounds. nourished my determination to reach the source of my people's river by uprooting the tallest stem from a tuft of umuzi, crowning a pyramid of pebbles at the confluence of ancient paths concealed among the verdant wetlands where untamed and goony cattle seasonally graze to reveal the sacred site Isi Vivane Viva Isi Vivane A pile of stacked seeds of time testament to the travels of African sages who in search of the truth of their origins humbly followed cosmic river that gave my people its name. Among the strewn stones that hold the story of the universe, the last sage had found a perfect pebble still shimmering with memories of emotion. Shifting his balance to his right, picked up the pebble in the original fashion of the long migrated forest dwellers, raised his curled foot to his lips, spat a blessing of saliva, as he had been taught by his mother, the goddess of the seas, and posited it of the pyramid. I raised my weary eyes to the bleeding skies and saw the diaphanous imprint of the posture of balanced poise. I unsheathed the grass and sucked the sweet juice of its succulent stem. I spread my arms to embrace the heavens like the horns of a sacred black bull from the hills of a long history. Then I clasped the moist tuft with my calloused hands and drew the secret dew of darkness and drank
till my thirst was drowned. I performed the ritual of my morning ablutions with the humility of a cow herd facing the blood red pool of sky. Sanctified by the sacrifice of the son of the soil, the son of man, son of woman, whose name was canonized by the bulrushes slain for prayer mats and chanted by the stars and forever resonates beyond the cosmic ocean of dreams. He who fended the ferocious hounds that bay for the blood of our innocence by giving his own. Beatitude of Pulpers Beads, inspiration of our dreams. King whose crown parts with a smile. Omnipresent spirit of freedom. Free.